What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna to go through how Future's Life is Good was made on FL Studio. This beat was produced by Ambeza, OZ, and D Hill. And because this is a sponsored video, the FLP will be available for everyone in the description below, as well as Sam Addicts' new free plugin, Origin. This song is split up into two different beats at two different tempos. Starts off at 163, then goes down to 142. And the way you can change your tempo is set the tempo to the tempo of the first beat, right click, create automation clip. Then we're gonna copy this value and paste it at the end of the first beat where the beat switch happens. Then we're gonna change the tempo to the second beat, which is 142. Then go right click, copy this new value and paste it at the tempo change. So as you can see, it goes from 163 down to 142. Let's go through the first beat first. Let's start off with the sample, which was produced by Ambeza. If we head to Ambeza's Instagram, you can see he posted the audio for the original sample, which if you listen to it, you can hear that it's nine semitones below the original song, which means that OZ took the sample and pitched it up by nine semitones. Also, this is an identical remake. There were some parts in the sample that Ambeza added his vocals to, which obviously I can't replicate. And there might be some slight differences here and there in the way that the sound was processed. But, and ready for this, we have every single sample and preset from the original song here for you today. So let's start off with the synth. Once again, this is gonna be played nine semitones below the original song in the way that the sample was originally created. You can find this preset in Prophet V3. It is the Underwater Adventures preset, and it's gonna sound like this originally without any effects. First off, you can hear this high-pitched second sound that's coming in. Right there. That is a modified sawtooth wavetable. So if we go to the wavetables, you can see oscillator D. We're gonna change that down to 32. So now it's gonna sound like this. Secondly, this synth is playing over two different octaves. So we're gonna take up the pitch of one of these oscillators by 12 semitones. So now it's gonna sound like this. Then we're gonna add that to the mixer. And first off, we're adding Kickstart, which is emulating a side chain. Then we're adding RC20 Retrocolor. And we're using the preset Lush and Crunch Guitar 2. And we're turning off Space Reverb and bringing the noise down to 1%. So now it's gonna sound like this. Next up, we're adding sound shifter pitch stereo, and we're taking down the sound by one octave. Then finally, fruity compressor and ozone nine imager, just tightening up the frequencies around 300 Hertz. So if we bring this up by nine semitones, you're gonna hear the original sound. Next up, we have the identical guitar preset, which sounds like this. You can find this preset in Omnisphere. It's the granular bowed electric guitar. And for effects on the mixer, we're adding nothing. All we're doing is bringing down the stereo separation. So, so far in the song. Then we have the identical bass preset. I really like this preset. It's from, I'll, I'll, I'll play it for you first. <laughs> You can find this preset in Diva. It is the HS Black Fuzz preset in the bass bank. So now if we bring up the pitch by nine semitones, it's all gonna sound like this. Then we have one more preset coming in, playing this melody. You can find this preset in Electra X. We're using the Piano FM Rotary MF preset. And once again, we're adding nothing on the mixer, just bringing down the stereo separation. So once you've done all that, we're gonna export the stems into a new project. From here, Ozzy took this sample and brought it up by nine semitones. So now it's gonna sound like this.
Next thing we're doing, since this sample has a bass preset in it and the bass plays with the 808 sometimes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to our mixer and we're gonna be cutting out the low end using Fruity Parametric EQ2. So you can see anything below 200 Hertz is getting cut out. So without this plugin activated, you're gonna hear some dissonance between the 808 and the bass. Then if we turn it on, So that was the sample. Now let's move on to the 808 and the drums. For the 808, we're using the Zay 808 or the overused 808. This 808 was probably one of the most difficult parts of the song to recreate. And it's really simple, but it's not obvious at all. So before I add this really unique effect, this is the melody that we're playing. For this effect, all we're doing is we are pitch shifting this 808 down by two semitones and we're adding sound shift to pitch stereo, pitching it back up by two semitones. And I swear Ozzy did this in the original song. If you listen to this beat and then the original back to back, the 808 will sound exactly the same. So this is before and after. So that's the 808. Next up we have the percussion. Let's start off with the identical hi-hat, which is the OZ hi-hat 14. And as you can see, we are playing it at C sharp. So one semitone above where the hi-hat would normally be playing. And we're playing a basic two-step loop. And as always, you can see it's identical by comparing the EQ of the hi-hat to the original song. So this is the hi-hat. This is the original song. Hi-hat. It's the exact same hi-hat and the same thing goes for the snare. We are using this pretty standard snare. I know it's called the Life is Good snare, but you can find this snare in a bunch of different drum kits. It's gonna sound like this. And it plays this pattern. So that's the first beat. Once again, you can download that for free in the description below. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Cymatics. As many of you guys know, I like to promote plugins that I use in my own beats, and I personally use Origin all the time. This is the first plugin that I've seen that directly decreases the sample rate within the mixer, so you don't have to record the audio into Edison, format it, return it back into the playlist. It all happens within the plugin. If I play you some audio, I can bring down the sample rate in real time within the mixer. You also have some other effects like movement, saturation, a chorus effect, and you can add some noise to your sample. Anyway, big thanks to Cymatics for sponsoring this video. Go check out their plugin in the description below for free once again, as well as the free FLP. Now let's move on to beat number two. In preparation for this remake, like I do with all remakes, I watched every other remake on YouTube for this song. And in a lot of those videos, I saw people using a reversed piano, which I can see why people thought that because if we play this sound in reverse, it sounds like some sort of reversed Rhodes piano, but in reality, we are using a synth. You can find this preset in Blue 2. It is the 108 Serenity Now Joe Marl preset. And I took up the attack and turned the unison to two. So it's gonna sound like this without any effects. The first thing we're doing is adding Ozone 9 equalizer just to chop out the frequencies above 1600 Hertz using a brick wall low pass filter. So it's gonna sound like this now. And the reason I didn't use Fruity Parametric EQ2 is because Fruity Parametric EQ2 doesn't have a brick wall low pass filter. As you can see, this is the harshest angle we can use for a low pass filter using Fruity Parametric EQ2, which just wasn't enough. So that's why we're using Ozone 9 Equalizer just to chop out the frequencies at this point. Then we're adding RC20 Retrocolor for some added iron distortion, digital and space reverb. So it's gonna sound like this. And the digital is really important because it's adding this bit crushing sound. So without it, it's gonna sound like this. Then by adding this bit crush effect, we're bringing back the frequencies that were removed using this plugin just before. Then finally, we're using gross beat to add this volume curve, which starts off looking like a side chain, then it turns into something else. So it's gonna sound like this.
Next up, we have a second synth from Blue 2. This is the Sign Solo from the Arp Bank O2. And that's gonna sound like this without any effects. Then we're adding half time to half speed the sound as well as Fruity Parametric EQ2, just cutting out the low end. So it's gonna sound like this. Then finally, we have one more preset before we get to the 808 and the drums. This is a guitar preset from Nexus. It is the GTFM Guitar 4, which is gonna sound like this without any effects. So we're not gonna to touch this preset, but we're adding RC20 Retro Color to the mixer and we're taking up the space reverb 100%. So it's gonna sound like this. Then we have the identical hi-hat, which is the VM hi-hat. And of course you can see it's identical by comparing the EQ to the original song. So this is the hi-hat. And is the original. Hi-hat. Original. It sounds and looks the exact same. The only thing we're doing to this hi-hat is adding an EQ and bringing up the frequencies around 13,000, 14,000 Hertz. Then we're adding the BWB Vault Clap Esco. And on the mixer, we're adding Fruity Reverb. So without it, then with it. Then for the 808, we have the Kaz 808, or the OBUs 808, or the Zay 808, whatever you want to call it. It's a modified version, and it's playing this melody. Then for effects, we're adding Ozone 9 Exata to add some distortion. Fruity Parametric EQ2 for this EQ. Then finally, Transient Processor. And this is really important because in this beat, it doesn't contain a kick, which means it's missing that low, punchy sort of sound. And you'll often see with beats that don't contain a kick that they'll be using the overused 808, which as you can hear, already has a good transient. But for this song, that transient wasn't punchy enough. So we're gonna add Transient Processor and we're increasing the attack by 100%. So this is before and after. Then we have this snare coming in. It is the Z snare one, and it plays this pattern. Anyway, that's it for the remake. Thank you very much for watching and thanks to Cymatics for sponsoring this video. Go download their Origin plugin for free in the description below as well as the FLP. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.